Uh. Oh, fuck. Uh, man, if only I had a device that could tell me if I'm about to walk into a wall without, you know, me having to use my eyes. Hi, my name is Hannibal, and... Oh, fuck. That hurt. Oh, hey, ladies and gents. Uh, just give me one. Ah, fuck. Sorry, uh... Anyway, I think I may have made something kind of useful. Uh, well, a few years back, I made an invention called the No-See Glasses, which, as the name implies, were glasses that didn't require sight. The way that they worked is using a sensor that detects distance. Whenever the person was about to walk into a wall or an object, it would alert them via a very loud that they were about to walk into a wall. Now, this was a very small project at the time. In fact, it only took me a night to make it. So my expectations for the video and the how it was going to be received was very low. But then I posted it and I got so much positive feedback on the project from people giving me helpful tips and information to help me improve the design of the glasses to even saying how genuinely useful this could be. Fuck, some people even said I should patent it. And that's awesome and everything, but we're not here to talk about those people. No, no, no. We're here to talk about one man in specific. Let me introduce you to Dan, who not only left multiple comments on my No See Glasses video, but also left a long post on my subreddit, basically asking me to make a handheld version of the No See Glasses. To make a long story short, in these messages, Dan basically tells me how his mother is blind and she doesn't really like using a walking stick to navigate around her area and would like something that's more discreet when navigating. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I actually was not going to make this originally. And not because I lack a heart, which I do, but mostly because I just didn't have the means to make something that was more stronger than cardboard. <laughs> more stronger. Yeah, good job, fucking grammar bitch. But that all changed until I got... I got a new 3D printer. Uh, I already... I actually already have it set up. This box is empty here. Let me just... Uh, eh. Ta-da! Uh, but is... Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that awesome? And you want to know what the best part about this is? I got this for free. The person who sent me this actually wanted to stay anonymous. But even with that in mind, the fact that they sent me this machine that will allow me to upgrade the quality of the projects I make on this channel just for fucking free and out of the kindness of their heart is just absolutely crazy and just awesome. So you know who you are. Thank you. Yeah, but um... Anyway, I printed this puss hat. I, I I mean I mean cat. Now this uh now the three D model for this print actually came with the three D printer with like a little SD card in it. I printed it to see how it would turn out, and honestly, it turned out really nice and sturdy. Like that shit ain't breaking. To be fair, I I, I am not that strong. But with all that in mind, I actually have like a hundred percent confidence that I can use this to make something for the, the project that is more sturdy than fucking cardboard. But I think that's enough of the chit chat. It's time to talk about the plan. So let me just. Oh fuck! Oh, yeah, I think you broke You're fine. Uh, yeah, can you? Uh... Yeah, yeah. C come on, get over here. Uh, okay. So like I said before, Daniel wants me to make a handheld version of the Nosey glasses. Now for like the outer shell, I'm kind of imagining, you know, like a like a flashlight type design. You know, just uh, well, the whole light part. Yeah. Where the light would have been, there's actually going to be a distance sensor, which we'll talk about in a minute. Or, you know, where you can actually point around and you get a good sense of where you are at. Unlike the glasses though, this handheld device, whenever you get closer and closer to a wall or an object, it will actually start to vibrate more and more and more. Unlike the glasses, for whenever you got close to something, it would just make a really loud microwave beep. Ooh, I can still hear it ringing. So yeah, with all that being said, let's... Oh, fuck, that's just... God, I think I have a bug problem. Oh, sorry about that. Anyway, for the no C classes, the main component of it was this ultrasonic sensor. This is a sensor that detects distance using sound, and while it is good, it is not as good as a LiDAR sensor, which is this little doohickey right here. Now, the main differences between these two sensors is this one uses sound, and this one uses light. And if you didn't know, uh, light is a little faster than sound, so that already makes the LiDAR sensor much better than this. Not even mentioning how the LiDAR sensor can detect farther distances than the good old ultrasonic sensor. Anyway, speaking of sensors, okay, but that's besides the point. I actually made some code and already have it loaded up on this little Arduino right here. So basically, when we plug this in, oh, as you can see, this light starts to beep. Uh, hey, it's a uh, future me, uh, so, uh, I forgot this uh, 3D printer noises. I forgot to um, show off the code, so um, here's that. Uh, yeah, don't, don't mind the um, 
blanket that's not covering laundry on my couch. Anyway, back to the video. Now, we can't, it's really hard to show this off while sitting down, so uh, here, let me just, uh, sorry. Okay, so basically, as you can see, we have this little doohickey that looks like a bomb in my hand, and if you notice the little light right there, when we get close to any sort of, like, wall or object, it starts to blink a little faster. So, for example, we're just gonna walk a little closer to this wall, and as you can see, it's starting to pick up, and oh my god, it's just on. And that's the main idea of this. Now, there's like one problem with this. It uses light in the per and this is meant for blind people, right? So we can't we can't use this. We we just yeah, we can't use this. We can't use we we can't use that. So instead, we are going to use this, which is a little motor. Now all we have to do is take this motor and plug it into the same ports that we plugged in the good old little light sensor. This one goes there. And this one goes there, and as you can see, it's starting to vibrate now instead of light up, if you can hear the little vibrations. This is a lot better than using a light, because obviously light is just you have to be looking at the device to actually tell when you're getting close to this, but with this you can just feel it and, oh, I'm getting close, and oh, it's vibrating a lot, I'm running into a wall! Okay. But yeah, as you can see, ugh, these are the main electronics for the project. Now it is nice that we have all the electronics working and everything, but there is one, one itsy bitsy problem. I can't give this to Dan because it just looks like absolute horseshit. Like quite literally, it's a, it's a bunch of electronics put onto a piece of cardboard. And I think it's now time we break in our new 3D printer and talk about the design. So let me just get out my uh, little, what did he? God, kill me! Uh, hey, man, are you? Fuck a you! Uh, uh, so for the main body, um, oh, let's take a look throw up. I made this flashlight type design that comes in two different parts. The you know is making it easier for me to put the electronics inside. But speaking of screws, where the lidar sensor goes, there's actually going to be a screw hole on each uh, piece of the flashlight. This makes it so whenever I put screw in the uh, lidar sensor, it'll actually keep the whole uh, piece together and you know stopping it from falling apart. We have a whole where the button goes and we have little slots where the uh, motors go and we have this little space right here where we can put the battery and put on that nice little pressure fitted cap we talked about before and yeah that's basically it wait i'm alive oh my god i'm alive i'm alive yes! oh shit uh, ooh, did i step on something yeah who cares okay uh, welcome back ladies and gents uh the project is <laughs> yep Done. I made this nice little case for it, by the way, so I'm going to be sending to Dan. But as you can see, the whole project is nice and put together. And the way I did this was pretty simple. I just took the casing and the electronics, threw them down on my desk, snapped my fingers, and spent the next several weeks putting it putting it together. I won't get into it too deep, but let's just say this was a very uh, fun project to put together. But that's besides the point. It's time for you to see it work, which is mind the mess. We turn it on. And as you can see, or hopefully here, it making it's making a nice little buzz. Now, with this, what we can do is now we'll use this as reference, uh, mind that my poster's down. We're going to walk closer to it. If you noticed, it's gonna start vibrating a bit more and more and more and more until it's on until it's just completely on but the thing is i don't need this that i i can see and i can navigate pretty easily using my eyes so i think it's now time we send this to dan so he can give it to his lovely mother so let's do that so at this point of the video I was gonna show a footage of Dan's mom using the project, you know, and testing it out and everything. But sadly, Dan's mom did get injured before we could get the footage. And since my video is not as important as somebody's well-being, obviously, I'm just not gonna have that segment in this video. I got a lot of footage of it working out, of the project working, you know, like like this. And so at the end of the day, it's really not that big of a deal that we couldn't get uh, the footage for from Dan's mom. What really does matter is Dan's mom's, you know, hopefully speedy recovery. So if you all could, just, you know, give your best wishes for Dan's mom, right? But, you know, Dan did get the project at the end of the day, and he said it worked and everything. He said it was awesome, you know? 
cool stuff. So, you know, in the future, we could potentially get footage of Dance Mom using it, you know, when she's recovered and everything. But right now, it really doesn't matter, you know. And so don't expect anything in the future like that. Just think of it as if it does happen, a fun little surprise. But, you know, no promises. I feel like with this, we can kind of summarize that uh, life is a bitch. <laughs> But, you know, with all that being said, welcome to the end of the video. Now, this project was a lot of fun to do, but, well, at least looking back on I'll tell you right now, working on that bitch was a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Though it was challenging, it was really nice to do because, you know, it improved lots of my skills when it came to, like, soldering and, like, 3D modeling using the new 3D printer and everything. I forgot all the bad stuff, so, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> I would love, to, I would like to give my thanks to Dan, the technical sponsor of this video because without him and i literally mean this none of this would have been possible because he paid for the, all the parts of the project and <laughs> he gave the he basically he gave like the whole idea and premise for the video now i am under no contract or anything in this video but even with that being said as a thank you to dan please go make sure to check out the uh, decor wonder world which is dan's business to put it in dan's own word they basically sell bathroom mirrors <laughs> But no, seriously, they sell mirrors and stuff, so if you are interested in that, you know, go check them out. Link's in the description. And with those words, I officially became a sellout. Nah, I'm fucking with you. I'm officially a sellout when you see me go, RAID SHADOW LED! Hopefully in the future, I can actually mass produce, like, the Light Arcane, an improved version of the Light Arcane, and, like, the an even more better version of the No-C glasses. It's been, it's been kind of a goal to, like, one day, like, Set, make a shop for my channel and sell some of the inventions that I have on here. So like the light arcane and OC glasses, got you know other stuff. You know that won't happen for a long time because uh, little secret, I broke. But yeah, that's about all I have to say. Um, I make sure everyone to give their best wishes to Dan's mother, and Dan to you. Thank you for everything for this video and thank you for your patience when when I was like making the project and everything. I do really appreciate it. And with that being said, I hope all of you have a great day. And as always, stay- <coughs> What the- where, where, where the fuck? Holy shit! That's what you fucking get, you arrogant little prick. Oh, hey, uh, yeah. Stay trashy.